Hi everybody, it's just Grandma Eva here. I want to just make a quick recording about a certain episode that happened during the summer with one of the grandkids that um, had me realize that um, I can be taught many lessons um, and I have to be prepared to answer questions when I get asked a question. There was an incident where the girls were um, Charlize, I'm speaking to all of y'all, Charlize, Gwenny, Harper, and Jesse. Okay, that's who I went to go take care of uh, this summer in Missouri for Charles and Andrea where they worked. And um, I had your grandpa Juanillo and your cousin uh, William and Maya were, were there too. And there was one incident where the girls were playing together. They were all playing. Okay, they were not all playing together, but they were playing. And there was an incident where I, I believe it was Jesse and Gwenny who were playing together. And then the other two girls wanted to come. They wanted to play also. And I don't know. I waited too long. It's uh, I've been back since uh, August the 1st. And it's now August the 8th. And I wish that I would have put this into uh, a video while, when it happened, the day it happened. And I didn't. And I regret that because it, it was a learning it was a learning uh, moment for me, and I know that it would have been a great learning moment if I remember it right to tell y'all. But anyway, what it was is the question. The question that I was asked was, how do I love all my sisters the same way? How can I, not the same way, how, how did I get, um, the, the question was asked is, how can I love all my sisters all at, all the time at one time how do you do that how do you love how do you love all your sisters at one time and that that was a uh, the question that was asked to me by one of my granddaughters because of the situation that was happening um, I was bringing up the word of God I said God wants us to love one another he wants us to love to treat each other the way we want to be treated and he wants us to love one another you know all the same he wants us to do that and um and he told me she uh, i was asked well how can i do that how can i love jesse when i'm playing with jesse and love um uh Gwenny when i'm playing with Gwenny? or how can i love charlie's when you know how, how can i do that like she was trying to explain to me that when she's playing with one of her sisters she loves her at that she loves her and but when another one wants to play with her too then how can she how can she love show that love too like equally i guess that's what she she asked me literally how can i love all my sisters the same way how how can i do that and that was like when she first asked me i was like that's a very good question i wish i had written it down exactly how she quoted it um but it was how can she pretty much how can she love everyone the same and I said, you, you know, that's a very good question. You know, at first I was like, it stopped me. And I said, that's a very good question, um, Mija. You know, we can't love all the same. We can't love everybody the same way. I, I, this is how I tried my best to explain it was, mommy and daddy love each other one way. They love each other, you know, the way the Lord intended for a mother and a father to love one another. And mommy and daddy love y'all the way God intended for a mother and a father to love their children. And God has a way that we love our siblings. You know, we love our, our brothers and sisters. We do not love our brothers and sisters the same way we love our spouse. Just like we do not love our siblings, our brothers and sisters, the same way we will love our children. There is a different kind of love. You're right. But but love is something that we should always, you know, show towards one another. The, even your neighbor, which the Lord says, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. <clears throat> That's a, also a different kind of love. And they talk about these different kind of loves in the Bible. The kind of love that God has for us is so intense. It's so mighty. It's so strong. Because God can love us. In, in, in all the kinds of loves all together um, I didn't explain it I didn't bring that part up to them because it they're young you know my oldest granddaughter just 
she just turned nine so it's nine seven uh six and four and so like you know they're between the four and the nine years of age uh so but my oldest reads the word of god she they study the bible in school she can quote scripture she remembers a lot of the the, uh, the bible stories and chapters uh books where they come from and things like that so she's you know she does under she has an understanding of some of the things but they're just learning to live in in life you know and i'm older and i've been reading the word of god i've been reading the bible for over um 20 years now and so I um, and God has allowed me to have understanding through the Holy Spirit of His Word, and so I do my best to try to tell, teach this to y'all, my grandkids. Um, so that question right there, when she asked me it, she wanted to know how can she do that, and I told her they're your sisters, so you love your sisters the way you love Jesse, you love. Um, you don't have to stop loving Jesse because here comes Harper. You can't just love like, and it, it's like it, she felt that when she was playing with her sister, she had to that love was just for that one person at that time. Like she, she didn't, I guess, had like could love all at one time, love all four of her sisters. Somehow, some way, she she did her understanding was very like um, it was. I don't know the correct words and I'm not going to try to bring up this terminology from the dictionary and all that I'm speaking to my grandkids I'm speaking to my children and so um, she was just trying to pinpoint it she was trying to make it where her love at that moment was for this person one at a time put it that way one at a time you, she's going to give her love to this person one at, which she was not wrong in doing that she she loves her sisters she loves all of her sisters but she, at that moment that she was playing with that one sister she wanted to give that love to her sister and then when the other ones wanted to come it's like well she didn't know how to divide that and be able to love them both like that and and she felt like she was i guess to me maybe in her mind she was cheating the other ones because she couldn't give what she was giving that first one to them and so she wanted to know how do I do that and that was a great question because it is kind of hard to try to explain to even my own you know to to my grandkids y'all all my grandkids I'm talking about every single one of y'all grandkids that I you know my my blood you know my step grandkids all of them I mean, y'all don't see y'all like step I see y'all as my grandkids um I love y'all and um, when I'm with one grandkid if I'm with them and there none of y'all are none of my other I have 19 grandkids guys 19 and I love being a grandma and when I'm with, when I'm with one of y'all and the other ones aren't around it doesn't mean that I'm giving them more love than y'all it's just that I have a lot of love to give that God has blessed me with and so that one grandkid that's with me at the moment they're receiving it they're receiving that love and then when another one shows up that love is I'm not dividing it it's still there and they're both gonna receive it and if it, another one shows up the same the same love that was there with that one is still there with the second one and the third one and the fourth one and so on whether you're four years old or whether you're 19 years old or 18 years old or 20 years old my love for you is still the same my love for my grandkids that love doesn't change I love y'all very much so when I was asked that question by my granddaughter and how she shows her love for to her siblings and she want that was a very important question and that was a good question um and uh i hope and i i hope that i was able to answer her and not just her because the other the other sisters were listening 
that they understood what I was trying to explain to them regarding the love that God has blessed us with. We learn to love through God. I know I've learned to love through God, and I'm so grateful to understand the love that God had for me enough that when I first met His Son Jesus, when God let me meet His Son Jesus, Jesus introduced me to God, His Father. And I started learning what love was. And when, before I was a Christian, before I met the Lord, I didn't understand what love was. It was very mixed up. And uh, when I did find out, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. When I found out what love really was, when I met the Lord God Almighty and I read His Word and everything, I felt very cheated. I very, I felt very cheated. Um, that I didn't, I wasn't being loved the way I should have been loved. And um, I felt also guilty because I wasn't loving my children the way I know that I, I wanted to. I just didn't understand the love for myself, you know. Um, I don't know, kiddos, if you, yeah, you, if you ever look at this. Talking to Dee Dee and uh, Charles and Crystal and Santos. I don't know if y'all ever really felt loved. Love from me. But I loved y'all. And I still do. With all my heart. I love y'all. I, I give thanks to God all the time for y'all. Because I know God blessed y'all. You know, to me. He chose me to be your mom because he knew my life. He knew what I was going to go through. And y'all are the reasons that I was able to overcome a lot. Y'all were my reasons. God gave y'all to be my reasons to keep going. And now he's blessed me with great kids. Well, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a wonderful experience and I love it. But I just want y'all to know that I love y'all. I don't have, uh, when it comes to my grandkids, I love y'all so much. It's like, my love is, boom. <laughs> it's, it's large. And, um, for my grand, for my children the same way. But it is different. There is a difference. A uh, different kind of love. And, um, the intense, intense, the intense, and the different ways is intense, like the love I have for my sweetheart, your know, grandpa Eddie, and the love I have for my parents, your grandma Gloria and your grand your grandpa Juanillo, the love I have for your know, aunts and uncles or your parents, you know, and that I have for y'all. Plus, I have my siblings, I have my sisters, and um, my, you know, it's all different, but at the same time, it's still all in one heart. I only have one heart. Just like y'all do. And I just give thanks to God that He's allowed me to understand that. And maybe um, one day I pray that every single one of y'all, my children, my grandkids, y'all will understand it also and y'all will be able to help one another to understand it too. And never ever felt but feel excluded or left out or ignored in any way because of a misunderstanding okay y'all are loved y'all are very loved by your parents and by your siblings and by your aunts and your uncles and especially by by your grandma and grandpa okay even your great grandma and grandpa so i just pray right now in jesus name lord god i pray please bless my grandkids and my children and my future great grandkids and so on with your love, Lord God, I pray for your understanding in their hearts. I pray that you would just continue to watch over them and protect them as you have been. Thank you for all you do. In Jesus' name, I give you thanks and I ask. Amen. I love you, kiddos. Don't forget, Grandma Emma loves you. I'm trying to stop it, sorry. Oh. I was touching the screen. You don't touch the screen on this thing. Bye, guys.